Hey everybody, it's the Boss Lady here coming to you with a tag video. It's titled Sweet Home Tag. Uh, my Sweet Home Tag. Or Home Sweet Home Tag. Sorry. Anyway, I just got done cooking. It's hot. So um, I got tagged in this video by my sister, Miss Kimberly. And I said, well, let me go ahead and do this tag quick before I eat dinner. Because, yeah, Boss Lady Tag. But anyway, and you're going to see two videos back to back with me in the same shirt because I did this video, I would say, mm, about four hours after the other video that I'm going to upload as well, which is a vlog. But anyway, let's get into this tag. So home sweet home tag. There's 16 uh, questions in this tag. So let's get started. And I wrote them down, as you can see, got my little notebook here. <laughs> uh, so I wrote them down. The first question is, what is your living situation? Do you rent, own, um, do you rent, do you own, or do you live at home? Well, let's see. We own, uh, and we live at home, if that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, so that's question number one. Number two, what type of house do you live in? I live in a one and a half story house. Uh, unattached to anyone else. There's nobody, you know, attached to my sides. Uh, do you live in the city, suburbs, or country? Uh, I live in both, uh, except for the country. Uh, my house sits in the city limits, but across the street from me is the suburb, so I get the best of both worlds. Uh, how many people live in your home? Who do you live with? Uh, currently, there are three people in my home, myself, my husband, and my nine-year-old daughter. Uh, number five, if you own your home, when did you buy, and how old were you? Well, that's where it gets tricky. Uh, we actually did not buy our home, so to speak. Uh, I inherited my home at the age of 20, uh, actually a month. It was a, barely a month before my 21st birthday. I inherited my home. But uh, in 2000, and so I inherited the home in 97. In 2004 is when we actually uh, refinanced the house and then began paying mortgage on the house. So I've been paying a mortgage since 2004, but I've been in my house since 97. And... Um, as I said, I inherited this home. So this home has been in my family since before my birth. And uh, so this is home to me, so to speak. Uh, so yeah, I've <laughs> been here pretty much 40 years. Okay, how many bedrooms? We have three. How many bathrooms? We have one and a half. Uh, what was the selling point? Well, I guess you could say what was the inherited <laughs> point for us? Uh... For me, to be honest, it was free. There was no mortgage at the time that I inherited the home. I only had to pay taxes, insurance, and utilities. So that was the actual selling point for me to up, jump, leave my apartment, stop paying rent, and yeah, be able to have a home. So that was my selling point. Um, what is something I love about my home? Outside of my porch where I'm sitting right now, um, I would have to say mm, what I love about my home is the fact that there's history in my home. From the front to the back, all sides around, like I said, this house has been in my family since before my birth. So the history is what I love about my home. Uh, something that I hate. Um... I would have to say the upkeep <laughs> and only because I got my home like I said at the age of 20 and so honestly I wasn't prepared and uh, so the upkeep has been something that I just hate I hate yard work um, I I don't cut the grass boss man cuts the grass but I do like flowers and things I've been getting into that for the last I would say four years now and so I do like the flowers but I hate weeding um, another thing that I hate is that my laundry room is not on my main level, so it's in my basement. So, yes, yeah, so that's something that I hate in my basement. It's just, it's a basement. It's not like an extra living space where we can, you know, chill and have fun. It's a basement. Concrete floors and 
unfinished basement. Uh, what is a future project? Right now, my future project, since I'm pretty much done with the porch, um, I still want to continue painting. Um, after painting my kitchen, I have come to the realization that no, a paint job cannot be done in a month. <laughs> so I am preparing for future painting projects just to get a little bit of color, not too much because I don't like a lot of color in my house. Um, I prefer a white wall as you can see and if it's not white I still want it neutral so something cream um, so like my living spaces as far as like my living room dining room hallways I still want those colors to be a cream I just want it freshened up and then um, I still haven't decided on the bedroom colors just yet so we're working on it <laughs> okay number 13 what did I change immediately when I moved into the home? The first thing we changed was the um, the window treatments in the living room. Um, my grandmother had darkening uh, curtains, or not curtains, she had darkening drapes. Um, there's custom built balances in the living room and dining room, which I'm still trying to work on changing. That's another future project. But... Um, the drapes themselves that was hanging up they were very very heavy and when they were closed it made the room completely black even if the sun was shining so the first thing that we changed was we took all of those down um i do like to let the sun shine in and so that was something that i changed immediately number 14 what is something um i always wanted to do in my home and never got around to it um, I would say finishing the basement. The basement uh, is going to take a lot of money. And so that is actually, it's on the bucket list to be completed. But that's kind of more for like 2018 and up. Uh, because I want to be able to finish everything else. I want the first two levels to be completed. And then put all my energy, my time, and my money into that basement. Um, we still have uh, some issues with leaking, and so um, it's going to cost some money to definitely repair that, and so that's something that, um, that I want to do, that I've wanted to do. It's just because of finances, it just hasn't been done. Okay, number four. 15. If I could do it again, would I buy my home? So for me, I would say if I could do it again, would I move into my home? <clears throat> Outside of the history and the fact that this house has been in my family for 40 plus years, if I had the opportunity to move here, I would say yes, I would. Um, I thought about it a lot. I know there was times where I wanted to move, but the history is what holds me here. And it's not like it's holding me hostage, but um, I'm not one of those who have to have brand new this, brand new that, whatever. I like to make things my own as time allows, as money allows. And so because of the history is what keeps me here. And so it, I know my sister, my sister was like, oh, I would have demolished this. I would have gutted that. I would have this, I would have that. There's certain things in my home that I don't want to change because then I feel like I'm erasing my grandparents. So those things I'm just not changing. And if no one likes it, that's too bad <laughs> because it's what I want and it's the history that I grew up with and I want to be able to pass that down to my family so and the last question does the home have any quirks do I like them and why well <laughs> I have an old home very very old home so there are different um, sounds <laughs> that normally 
I don't hear if there's something already running. So like you hear a hum in the background of this video, that is my air condition running. Um, when I'm in the kitchen, I hear the hum of my refrigerator. Um, but when, like we've had countless summers where we've had blackouts and I guess you would say the quirk that drives me insane is the no sound. Or I won't say the no sound. The everyday sounds I don't hear. And so then I hear other sounds and it freaks me out. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Now, yes, I'm prayed up and I done laid hands and, you know, blessing oil everywhere. But when there is no everyday sounds, then I hear the other sounds and it just... It kind of, you know, <laughs> it makes me want to run. So, um, and there's sometimes, you know, I mean, because the house is old, it does a lot of settling. Uh, so there's times when I'm at home and I'm working and boss man's gone and Miss Pina's gone. Um, sometimes it sounds like someone's walking in the upstairs of my house. And that freaks me out. <laughs> you know, I'll tell boss man, I heard something, you know. Um, my neighbors believe they have ghosts in their house. I don't believe that I have one in mine. Uh, but I can tell you that my grandparents' presence is here. Um, there has been times where it's been evenings, or I won't say evenings, it'll be nighttime, and I always keep a kitchen light on, and I have seen my grandfather's silhouette and my grandfather was 6'3", 300 pounds. And I could see him like he's watching over me. So that's another quirk. <laughs> and then um, there's times where I can walk into my backyard and I can smell my grandmother's perfume. And the reason why I know it's her perfume is because when we moved in, we didn't get rid of all of grandmother's things. And so um, I have a bottle of a perfume that she wore called Charlie. And the first time I smelled the perfume, I um, I immediately ran into my my uh, bedroom, into my closet, and I opened up that bottle and I smelled it because I said I know I smelled that smell before, and sure enough, it was the exact same smell, and no one had been in my backyard. So, yeah, those are some of the quirks, you know. And I know people might think I'm strange or you know making up things. That's fine. Um, but like I said, I know my grandparents are watching over me. Um, I know my grandmother is very pleased with the porch. You know, so I know they had a great conversation about that in heaven. So, um, but that's all, you know. So, now it's time for me to tag some people. So, let me see. Who am I going to tag here? Um, let me see. Let me see. Trail of all trades. I'm tagging you. Hi, ma'am. Um, and, uh, Lisa with an E. I'm going to tag you too. Hey, how you doing? I'm a new subby to her channel, y'all. So, I checked her out. I like her channel so far. So, check her out too. Um, so those are the two people that I'm tagging. And thank you, Miss Kimberly. <laughs> you know I hollered once again when I heard my name. So, I'm glad I was able to do this. I'm going to end this video though. Because like I said, I just finished cooking dinner. So, I'm getting ready to go eat. Get Miss Peanut ready for school, and I will see everybody in a new video. Bye!